So this is an example of a handmade monochord. I didn't make it, but somebody did. Monochord, meaning one string. Uh, it is said that Pythagoras used monochord to develop the ratios that would become uh, essentially our modes and scales. Because if you take one string and pluck it, see it vibrating there? This particular one is ringing at what we would call a B flat. Now, if you stop the string halfway, it sounds an octave higher. These overtones uh, sound quieter, well, because if you look at it, the string is half its length, so it ha doesn't have as uh, much room to vibrate. Now, if we move here, La 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 la. That's the fifth, what we call a perfect fifth. So B is the fundamental. This ratio of three to two, where here's the two part, two parts of that string to the upper third gives us the sound of the original pitch a fifth higher. If we were to do the original, mm, la. hear that? That would be a major third or a D over B flat. And we'll compare it to equal temperament major thirds. So you can hear that these major thirds are a little bit flatter than we like in our Western tuning systems. And just for fun, here is what would be sort of the seventh. Sort of a bluesy note. not the prettiest tone on earth, but it works. That's all that I really care about right now. It's a little bit of a pain to work with, but you see, we get a pitch. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. So as you can see, I've created a rudimentary monochord and already marked the intervals. I ended up finding I could get a better sound if I had a uh, rudimentary pickup, or uh, sorry, plectra. <laughs> and then in order for the class to hear it, we need to have it mic'd. So I'm testing this out. All right, so check this out. Here we go. That's the main pitch, that's the fundamental. Oop. That is the first harmonic. Let's see. The third harmonic. Hear how much quieter it is. So again, for reference, here's the fundamental. Here's the octave, the first harmonic. La, 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 la. So that's the fifth. The fifth interval. 
interval of the fifth. <laughs> and then, so that's the third harmonic, which is the interval of the fifth. Now, let's see. The fourth harmonic is the two octaves higher. It's extremely quiet, but you can hear it. And again, for reference. Can you hear that tiny little ping, ping, ping? That's the fourth harmonic, two octaves above the fundamental. Let's see, we can also get the fifth harmonic, which is a third. Finally, we get a third. So again, for reference, here's the fundamental. So the third should be there. Yep. Here we go. Pretty awesome, huh? Now, uh, I did end up finding the tenth harmonic. So the fourth. The fourth, several octaves higher. So. La, 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 should be the fourth. So there you go. That's about the best harmonics I could get on this instrument. Uh, on a violin, for example, I can get, um, you know, intervals of a seventh, and you can hear how those sound off compared to equal temperament and such. So it's super cool. But there's my homemade monochord. Not too bad for my first prototype, if I do say so myself.